<laughs> Alright, hey guys, it's Minatic010 back with another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. Today we're back in our survival world and, uh, yeah, we'll update on something. I have been building this in survival, of course. And, uh, this is the start of a huge circle thing that goes deep into the ground. Right now we're using it as a cow farm, because cow farms are easy to make, and cow farms are really resourceful. So, let's go ahead and head down. I made a little <laughs> sugarcane bridge using the fact that if there's a source block down here, then there are no then uh you can place blocks in the water even if there's a uh, water block adjacent to the actual sugar cane itself so you can easily just walk through it and it holds up the water well so what i've just been doing recently is uh going down here and uh breeding the cows cuz it's easy to do and i also have a farm for wheat in case i ever need any so pretty easy thing to do just uh, let some cows down here, and they can go ahead and eat out. Yep, they can breed. So, <laughs> what we're doing today has not been decided, but uh, I guess what we can do today is explore a cave system that I saw in a... While well, mining a little bit, I started a strip mine right here, and uh, I came across an abandoned mine shaft. So, I think we're going to go down there and explore the abandoned mine shaft a little bit. And, uh, that's cool. We also, uh, I think broke our efficiency 5, or efficiency 4, I should say, pick because of overuse. Lots of changes in the base. I did a little bit of off-camera work. But, uh, this is how many diamonds we have so far as I was strip mining, and I got some chain armor from the zombie spawner we have, and that's pretty cool. So, but actually, is this... That's efficiency one. Alright, I think we should go ahead and uh, empty some of our inventory in here. I haven't really organized it yet, but I will be getting to organizing it very soon. This is actually... Um, where is it? Hmm, I guess it did break. So, let's go ahead and take our fortune pick. We've got lots of swords over here. This was a level 30 enchant. Kind of wasted. But let's go ahead and head down and go ahead and get to the mining. So, uh, real quick drop off straight into the water down here. And this is where our strip mine was. But what we'll be interested in today, oh, well, I need some, uh, I need some torches. Alright, I'll go back and get them, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so I got some torches, and I want to show you a couple cool things. Chainmail zombie, that's not it. But uh, first of all, a little glitch I found. If you look up at the sky, and you look around the borders of your menu, press E, your inventory, then uh, it will turn the sky a whitish color. And I just looked at an enderman, because I am stupid. All right. <laughs> so another cool thing, if you put sugarcane on the water like this, and you run along, it kind of gives you a speed boost for a second, because you're on actual land and not walking through water. I just think that's pretty interesting, uh, you know, maybe a little bit like shifting gears, not really, because you're not changing speeds, but uh, if somebody hooked up a, um, uh, like a POV thing, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> let's go up here, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead in the mine shafts. I pretty much just blocked it off for now, didn't want to hassle with it, so... Let's go ahead and get in there. Uh, you can see I explored just far enough to get this. Um, trying to get some watermelon, I think. Yeah, watermelon. And I ended up getting some. I'm pretty sure. Hey, again, I haven't played on this for a while. Been on vacation. That's why I haven't been uploading videos. Uh, been going on so many vacations this year, this summer. So gonna get this uh, coal right here. I, you can hear the spiders. Either that's a spider spawner, a regular old spider spawner, a spider, or a cave spider. Which all three of them 
or actually only two of them are good because it wouldn't be very good if we just had a random spider spawn and throw us off slide it up some more now with the hoe and uh... let's go ahead and get some lapis another cool thing a friend told me um, actually lapis the uh, ore itself, lapis ore is actually more rare and diamonds and I find it kind of ironic because people see lapis ore as a building block or not lapis ore, lapis blocks and uh, it's actually more rare than diamonds so people are going mining for a very long time for a block that is again rarer than diamonds just to build with so I thought that was pretty interesting Ah, uh, mining episodes, and I just mined that with the wrong pick. No worries. Alright, let's, uh, baby zombie. Look around a little bit. Here's the end of a cave system. We'll go ahead and get that. And I think I just heard a slime chunk. Yep, I heard a slime. That was easy. It should be over in this direction. Uh, below Y32 it should be. Is he over here? Sounds like he's above me, actually. Hmm. Behind me now. So yeah, he's definitely up there. Yep, I see him. Alright. Let's go ahead and get up there. I'll place the fence down. A little slime. Hello. You're trapped over there. I think, I think we're just gonna let him... Gonna let him stay there for now. I wonder. Let's uh. We he got hit. He hit me a little bit. Let's go up here. Can he? He can't get up here at all. All right. Let's just <laughs> let's just walk around him. Let's just be complete jerks to him. It hurt his self confidence. I'm sorry, slime. I didn't mean to hurt your self confidence. I just can we be friends? I'll take that as a no. Alright. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. I think we're just going to mine until we get about one stack of iron. We've got 18 now. We really need to get a silk touch pick. But uh, mainly I do strip mining because... Or actually it's not strip mining, it's branch mining. I do branch mining a lot because it gets me a lot of diamonds. That's what we're after, because we have a lot of iron, and we're eventually going to be making an iron farm. But uh, for now, it's uh, strictly diamonds. We can take iron if we need it. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more iron. We're getting lots of iron. It's not a necessity. Ooh, creeper. Here we go. What difficulty are we on? We're on normal. That's fine. Alright. I was thinking of using a resource pack, actually, for uh, recording, but I'm not exactly sure if I should or not. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments if, if I should use a resource pack, and uh, if so, what resource pack do you guys recommend? Because I like your guys' opinions. I have actually been asking my friends recently, what resource packs they recommend um, more realistic kind of medieval type and uh, so far no one really has a good suggestion besides you know the normal uh, John Smith legacy which for some reason does not work on my minecraft I cannot figure out why um, it ends up crashing my minecraft every time I open it uh, it's not the uh, fact that it's a 32-bit it's because uh, I run 512-bit uh, texture packs on my computer all the time and they run fine but I don't know something about John Smith in itself uh, lags me out every time I open it so again if you guys have any suggestions for any cool resource packs I should use go ahead and suggest them and uh, yeah by the way guys opened up a server 
is a faction server in fact uh, you know raiding PvP all the uh, all the good stuff so if you guys want to join uh, I'll try to post the IP in the description but that's there we're also looking for staff uh, taking applications so if you guys are interested just uh, go to the server it's called tangible craft after tangible gaming good spider alright wrong pick let's go ahead and get that and kill the zombie that's about to get up here alright here we go also uh... have you guys heard of the new thing or actually it's not new it's actually pretty old as i've heard but i just find out, found out about it so it's new to me um, <laughs> but it's called the humble bundle it's uh... made by origin it's uh... pretty much ea, EA games and uh... what it is is uh... it's a charity event kind of thing where you donate a certain amount of money I think uh, right now it's up to five dollars it's not just five dollars but you uh, you donate money minimum is one dollar and you get a variety of games including crisis dead space one dead space three I think it's actually crisis two not just regular crisis uh, but again a whole bunch of games uh, it's also if you don't if you donate about five dollars at the moment, you also get Sims three I think, and a whole bunch of expansion packs for it. So it's actually a it's a really good deal, and a lot of the donation, um, a lot of the the organizations that uh the donations are going to are good causes, like the um, San Francisco AIDS. I don't know exactly the uh, name of the actual organization, uh, but it's, I think, at the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. There's Red Cross. Actually, I think I can open up a screen right here that'll tell me. Hmm, Humble Bundle. It is, in fact,. Human Rights Campaign, WOTSI, American Cancer Society, American Red Cross, and San Francisco AIDS Foundation. So those are the actual organizations that your donations can go to. Uh, you can regulate how much money goes to which uh, don organization, which is actually really cool. Uh, because, you know, if that's to pertain to politics or such, um, or anything like that, you can choose which uh, organizations to donate to. So, you know, you can still uh, do the bundle even if uh, some of the donations are not in your particular mindset, which I have no problem with. But uh, that's a cool, that's pretty cool. Uh, since this is one of my first real gaming charity events, I guess. Uh, I've never had the experience of getting to choose exactly uh, if I was going to donate to something, which money would go to where. I think that's probably just because I'm a minor, but <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool. But uh, I'll read off the list of the games you get by donating. It is $4.82. You get Dead Space. Uh, Burnout Paradise, The Ultimate Box, Mirror's Edge, which is recommended by a lot of my friends. You get Dead Space 3 and, in fact, Medal of Honor. Uh, but if you're cho choosing to go to 482, which is the uh, pre is more than the average uh, amount of donated price, is Battlefield 3 and The Sims 3 Starter Pack, which I'm not exactly sure what it comes with. Um, I think it comes with, hmm, The Sims 3, Sims 3 Late Night Expansion Pack, and The Sims 3 High End Loft stuff. So, pretty cool. 
I should probably eat. But that's still a pretty cool thing that's going on. I think they other have other sales going on too. Um, but I use Steam, preferably, and a lot of the games are only compatible with Origins. So I kind of had to make an Origin account just for this, but that's fine. It's not too hard to do. I think we're done mining for the day, actually. So we should go ahead and head to the surface. So I'll meet you guys at the surface, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, I thought that was a pretty good mining trip today. Um, well, for the short amount of time we did. If we go over here and look inside of here, we can see we got quite a bit of iron, quite a bit of gold, and uh, quite a bit of coal that should go inside of its correct chest. And we did, in fact, find a music disc. That was a while ago, though. Uh, but still, music disc. That's good. Let's take this, put that in there. Redstone. And that's pretty cool. We got 21 iron blocks, 5 gold blocks, 28 redstone blocks, 13 blocks of coal, but we've got more coming. 2 diamond blocks, 6 emeralds. Should be several. 7 emeralds now. Yep. And uh, lapis. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can also repair these right here if we want. And it's pretty easy. Do we have an anvil? No, we don't have an anvil. Looks like we're making an anvil. So, let's take this. Three iron blocks. And four of the bars. Go ahead and make an anvil. Let's plop it down right here. We take more iron. Where is it? Go ahead and use an iron block. So let's put this in here. I think it's the other way around. Yep. And uh, we just put in a couple of these. We can make full chain leggings. We can also make full of uh, chest plates. So we have chain leggings and chain chest plate. And that's, that's pretty cool because before, uh, I think it was a 1.4 or 1.3 update, you were not a you were not able to uh, acquire those in the game until mobs started wearing them. So that's pretty cool in itself, because you can get items that used to be impossible to get in the game. And that's pretty cool. So our to-do list: make a large circle thing in the ground and get to the end. A witch hut farm and iron farm. Tomorrow, I will probably be working on the Witch Hut farm. And uh, by the way, guys, if you guys don't recall, the Witch Hut is over in that direction. So we'll probably make it Nether Hub eventually. That's pretty cool, Witch Hut farm. And uh, we can get potion ingredients and redstone as a renewable source. So that's pretty cool. But uh, I think that really concludes what today's episode will be to so far what today's episode will be ah, stuttering but uh, guys stay tuned for the next episodes thanks for watching remember to please like favor subscribe comment down below suggest anything in fact uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask a question today if you could add anything to minecraft what would it be change any feature of Minecraft, what would it be? Comment down below. Go. I'll just be, be reading and responding. And, uh, yeah. So, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.